Hello everyone, welcome to Coders Camp. We are at 16th day of May Lead Code Challenge and the problem we are going to cover is binary tree cameras. So the input given here is a binary tree and we have to return the number of cameras we have to keep in the binary tree. And the rules given are each camera at a node can monitor its parent, itself and its immediate children. So we have to calculate the minimum number of cameras needed to monitor all the nodes of the tree. So let's understand this problem with an example. So consider this is our binary tree. The rule said that if we place a camera in this node, it will monitor itself and its parent and its children. So now if we are trying to place a camera on the root node, then it will cover itself and its children. So we still have two more nodes left. So if we are planning to keep the camera in our second node, in this case, it will cover its parent as well as the children. So placing one camera at this position is what we needed. So this is the one is the minimum number of camera needed for this particular binary tree to monitor all these nodes. So we are going to return one as our output. So how are we going to approach this? So let us go greedy about it. So what would be the particular node where we have to keep cameras that we are sure about? So we are going to search and find the nodes where we are going to keep the cameras for sure and then start our solution from that point. For example, consider root node of any binary tree. If suppose you want to cover the root node, what are the options? You either have to keep camera on that root node or you keep camera in its left child or right child. All these three options, if you keep camera in any of these three options, then it is going to cover our root node. So consider the nodes between the root node and the leaf node. That is the level after root and before leaf. So if you want to monitor these nodes in between, you either have to keep a camera on that particular node or you have to keep the camera on its parent or you have to keep the camera on its left child or the right child. So in this case, you have four options to monitor any node which is in, in between. So now moving on to our leaf nodes. So if we are moving on to our leaf nodes, we have only two options. Either we have to keep cameras on the leaf nodes or its parent. So we are sure that we either have to keep cameras on all the leaf nodes or its parent to cover the leaf nodes. That is the one thing we can be sure about. So in this case, if you are trying to keep cameras in all the leaf nodes, in this case, you will be having a more number of cameras in your binary tree because as the level goes down, the nodes increases at each level. At the last level, it will be having the more children than the previous level. So in this case, also you have more children. So in this case, if you are trying to keep camera on all the leaf nodes, so you will be not having the optimal solution or optimal number of cameras. You'll end up having many cameras than needed. So out of these two options, we have tried keeping cameras in the leaf nodes. If it is not the optimal way, let's keep cameras on its parent node. So in this case, you will definitely cover your leaf nodes. So this is the first step we are going to implement. So we are always going to keep a camera of parent node to the leaf node. So that is the first step. Based on this step, that is where we kept the camera, we are going to fill the cameras to the previous step. So basically, we are going to do a bottom-up approach. That is starting from the leaf node, we are going to complete filling the camera towards the top of the binary tree. So consider this example. As I said, we are going to keep a camera to the parent of our leaf node. So here is a leaf node. The parent of the leaf node is going to have a camera. So based on this camera, we are going to further check which are the nodes needed the camera. If there is a camera here, it parent doesn't need a camera because it will be covered. So we are going to go one step before and place cameras as needed. So before understanding what actually we are going to implement in algorithm, we clearly now know we need a tree traversal technique in order to traverse the trees and let us understand the status. So which traversal technique we are going to use is DFS as we are going to go deep in a binary tree. But out of DFS, which technique we are going to use in order, pre-order or post-order? Definitely it is going to be post-order because we are going to fill the cameras based on the values of the children. As we are moving from leaf node to root node, that is from children to parent, we need the status of both left 
and write children in order to predict whether we have to keep the camera on the parent or not. So in this case, we first need the status of left and right children before knowing the status of the parent. So our post order traversal is the only technique which visits both left and right child first and then come back to the root node. So hope you all understand what is a DFS and post order DFS and how does it work. And we are going to use the basic recursive function which visit the left node first and right node next and then do the rest of the operation. So in a basic DFS, we will be visiting the node and printing the values. But here we are going to assign a status to each node and our DFS going to help us let us know the status of our children that is left and right children. So that will decide what should be the status of our parent. So what does the status mean here? So consider this tree if we are trying to keep a camera in this particular node. In that case, that camera where it kept has been in a status having a camera so we are going to have three status and the first status is having the camera hope this itself defines and if you keep the camera there it is going to cover its parent and its children in that case they are going to in the covered status so whenever we keep a camera we are going to make its parent and children to covered status and the rest that this camera will not cover is going to be in uncovered status. So these are the three statuses that our nodes are going to have and based on these statuses we are going to fill our nodes with cameras going upward. So yes this is a simple technique let's go for a very quick dry run before getting into our implementation. So let me take the same example as given in the problem statement. As I said we are going to always keep a camera to the parent of the leaf node. So as our DFS is always going down deep till the leaf node, first is going to check whether it reached the leaf node. So when it is in this node, it is going to check whether leaf node is there and then it fix the camera here. So now the status of our leaf node is going to be covered and where we kept the camera is going to be having camera. So once this is done, we are going to go one node upward that is parent of this node and check its status. So it is going to check either of its children is having a camera then it is covered which means if it is having a left child and a right child it is going to check both of its status if either of them having a camera which means it will monitor its parent which means it is covered so we are having a camera in its left child so it is going to be covered so now moving one level upward to its parent we are at exactly at this node and we are going to check either of its children are having a camera. No, it doesn't have a right child. It is having a left child. It is covered but not having the camera, which means we need an extra camera which monitor this node. So let us keep one more camera here. So once we keep the camera, this status is going to have been changed to having cam and its parent is going to be updated to covered as it is going to check the parent of it in next iteration and it is going to check either of the children are having a camera yes it is having a camera then it is going to be covered so overall we are going to keep track of the number of cameras we keep with a variable result and every time we keep a camera and set the status to having camera we are going to increment its count and finally return the result as our output as we have kept two cameras here we are going to return two as our output so hope you're understanding this solution and this is going to do a basic DFS and iterate by number of nodes present in the binary tree. So it is overall going to take big O of n time complexity to run this algorithm. So let's go to implementation now. So let us first write our DFS function before getting back to our main function. So I'm going to return a string which is nothing but the status strings I have told. You can also implement this using the status numbers like having 0, 1, 2 for the statuses. But here I'm implementing using string for the easier understanding. So first we are going to check if the root is equal to null. Then return the status covered. So this is nothing but if you reach the leaf node and it doesn't have any children then the children will be null. In that case, the leaf node will be already covered as we are going to keep the parent camera. So next, I'm going to call and call my DFS to get the status of my left and right child. So string left, left is equal to DFS of root dot left. 
So now once we get the status, we are going to check if any of our children is not covered, which means we need a camera to monitor them. So we are going to check if left is equal to not covered or right is equal to not covered. If either of its children are not covered, in that case, we have to keep a camera on that node. So what are we going to do? As we are going to keep a camera, we are going to update our result. So before that, let me declare a global variable result here. And once we keep the camera, we are going to update result plus plus and return its status as having a camera because we have placed a camera in that node. If not, the other status is if it is having a camera. So if it is having a camera, which means we have to set the status to covered. As I explained, if either of its children is having a camera, then the parent is covered. So return if left is equal to having camera or right is equal to having camera then in that case the parent is covered if not none of them are having the camera which means the status is not covered once it takes all the left and right children and go up to root node then we, in our main method we are going to call dfs of root so here this DFS of root will actually return the status of its left and right child. So in this case, we are going to finally check. We are going to finally check if the root is covered or not covered. If it is covered, we can simply return the result. What we have, that is how many cameras so far we have kept, simply. If the root is not covered, then finally it need one more camera at the root of the binary tree. So we are checking the status. If root is not covered, then we are going to add 1. If not, we are going to add 0 with the result. So yes, that's it. Let me run. So yes, let's submit. Yes, the solution is accepted. Hope I made it simple this time. So if you like the video, hit like, subscribe and let me know in comments. Thank you.